Hey, so today I want to just quickly go over one of my uh, favorite, uh, the new Rhino 7 features, which is uh, multi-pipe. It's part of like the sub-D portion of uh, Rhino 7. Um, and, and simply, it's just a way of giving three-dimensionality um, to a network, a curved network. And, and this is sort of defined um, on the McNeil, uh, McNeil documents. The, the, it has three sort of you know, options, which is a radius, cap, and uh, strut divisions. And I can quickly demonstrate to you. I'm going to try to um, keep this uh, keep this uh, tutorial quite um, quite short, just because of the simple command. So let's get simple results, right? Anyways, um, here we go. So let's just say here is our um, curve network. Notice that each one of these is an individual. This is not. Oh, actually it is. So what we have to do here, split with this guy, because it's essential that these actually have a point corresponding with their um, network. So what I'll do is actually, here, I'll show you. It's in sub D, it's this component right here. Multi-pipe, what it will do here, let's, let's see if this is enough radius. I didn't get the units, so let's not cap it. Um, zero on this will be the most smooth. So, so that is our result if, um, if we're using that zero, and now here I'll show you what, and then you can do once again, right click to repeat. Let's go this time with um, three. Um, the, the caps doesn't really matter, and the strut divisions three. So you can see this is a much uh, tighter constraint compared to um, this this version. Anyways, this is incredibly powerful. Um, just giving that three dimensionality to networks and, and defining, uh, you know, the amount of struts in here and whatnot to support those. Anyways, also in tab mode, by the way, this is in uh, sub D, is what toggles you between the smooth um, and, the, and the more uh, mesh-like um, geometry. Anyway, so I thought I would uh, quickly uh, create a, a tiny grasshopper script illustrating um, illustrating like a network and, and uh, just to demonstrate sort of the, the power that this can do because what I, that little demonstration is obviously not very complex. So here, what I'm gonna do is basically just create a BREP to populate um, some points. Now let's bring it into Grasshopper and that was, that was enough Rhino for the day. Um, okay, so BREP, I can, I'm gonna right shift click, scale this out, you know, get a little table toppy looking thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to populate uh, 3D, sort of an essential to, uh, and then I'm going to hide this here and also hide this. So now I just have that series of points, a hundred of them, which I would use to create this network. Now let's um, isolate. Um, let's isolate. Let's find. Let's find this closest points command. What this will need is points to search from and points to search to, or the cloud of points to search, and then the number of points that each point will find. So I'm gonna use this as the points to search amongst, but we need to isolate. We need to isolate a certain, um, here, let's just simply use the list item. And then, we, so right now this is gonna give us that first point, but what, uh, easiest way to do it, series, look at that we have found now 10 points. And of course we can here, we can just change that number. And now we can find as many as we want. So let's, I don't know, let's keep it down low, 24. Anyways, okay, so now, now we have the points to search from, we have the points to search to, and now we're getting three from each one. Let's, I don't know, let's just plug a little guy in there. So four, okay. Quite nice. We have a nice little uh, script. Anyways, now I want to draw a line between the 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 base for for uh, the cert, the point to search from to all these points. So what I'm going to do? Oh, I already know these data structures because I have 24 points in here. And what do I have in here? I have 96 because there's four for every one of those. So what I need to do is graft this tree. So now it's going to know that 
now it's going to relate these two data trees so that actually the networks do line up. If I had not have crafted it, what would it do? It would just cause chaos because you're matching 24 items with 70 or 96 items, not 24 to now. So now it is 24. But it is in, you see how it has the uh, three levels to the tree, three branches, and this one now has three branches too, so it aligns. Anyways, that's starting to look uh, actually networky, which is cool. And maybe let's uh, let's pop up this. Let's maybe let's even bring in, you know. So we're starting out with 200 or 100 initial points. Let's bring it in to 300. Really explode this because that's the uh, the number one thing to do in Grasshopper, obviously, is to maximize it until your computer basically can't function anymore. Um, which is actually the the history of this exact laptop um, right now. Okay, cool. So we have sort of our like um, superstructure. Let me hide these items. Let's just have this network. Okay, cool. We have the the, the superstructure above. I don't want to create columns coming from these sort of arbitrary points. So let's just simply project uh, project. That's going to bring it down to the um, to the Z or the yeah Z plane, and then we can simply create a line between this and this. So now I don't have to merge them, but I will um, just because it makes life a little bit easier. Anyways, we have all of that. Uh, it's a little lofty, so I'm going to. A little disproportional. My uh, my architectural knowledge tells me that those columns are probably a little bit unsturdy, but you know what? It's all right. Anyway, so I'm just going to go here. Let's let's bring this back into Rhino. For some reason, for some reason, multi pipe. There is no multi pipe in Grasshopper. I, oh shit, there is. Ah, but it's fair enough. Let's. Okay, so we're, we're, we're well. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to bake it into um, Grasshopper. That's or uh, Rhino. Let's group it as well, so we don't have to. Uh... Okay, cool. So now we have that. I'm going to isolate it just for the sake. And now let's see what happens when I do multi pipe. Let's set pipe radius three. I think before that was a little too big, so I'm going to go with. 0.5, um, and then I'm gonna want I'm gonna go zero once again because I liked the uh, really smooth, smooth. Ah, and then I click tab and voila, we have now a total network. Um, if I were to go into Arctic mode. We have created a very complex network of, of curves. I don't know how feasible that is. Um, I would go ahead and say that it's not feasible at all. However, it is pretty interesting. It does definitely demonstrate the possibilities of a uh, of multi-pipe. Anyways, I'm trying to keep this tutorial really short. I'm trying to crank out a few more of these. Um, so at least sort of de document my favorite uh, components and, and workflows, um, grass, grasshopper, rhino, whatever other tools I like to use, which there are a lot of, um, be sure to, uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Give me any sort of tips, uh, and advice either on my video making, which probably is needed, need some, uh, help and also, um, on content that you'd like to see. Thank you very much and have a good one.